I am exhausted. Hi, it's Marlena. Welcome back to Berger's Farm. Ooh, yes, it's a little better. Okay, so I've had an issue with my pressure canner. <laughs> so I have done everything probably the last six months to pretty much water bath canning because I have no choice. I have ordered lids, no, the seals for my canner. They've been the wrong ones. And uh, I'm not going to keep on spending $20, $40 on gaskets. It's <laughs> just not worth it. I got way too many good pots. So sorry. Okay, so today we got a pig process last cup. I don't know when it was. We got a pig process. Got some meat back. I had to clear out my little chest freezer to fit it. And I had 20 pounds of hamburger meat. So I got my first 10 pounds out. And just, you know, flavored it up with beef bouillon, canned it up. So now I've got 10 pounds of hamburger meat and 10 pounds of ground pork that I am cooking. I'm almost done. I had it cooking in a big broaster because it was so much. And then once it all got the oil, you know, it was all oily and stuff. I drained the oil off of it, rinsed my pot, put it in the whatever it's called. What's it called, <laughs> guys? Um, you know, the slow cooker. Just to hold it until I was ready to process it. Okay, so here we are right here. And I just ground, I ground it up real good. And I'm trying to brown it up just a little bit in this pan. Okay. And I'm going to season it right here. I put me a, what was that? A package. And I'm not sure how much this is. This is a five- I don't know. I think it's a five quart. Hang on. Oh, I don't know. It should say on the bottom. This is a lodge. I don't know. I want to say it's a five quart cooker. Cast iron skillet. Okay. So, I say this is about three quarts of the meat mixture. Okay, so I put a package of brown gravy in it. I know it has cornstarch in it, but it's going to be okay. It's just a little bit. And then I got, since it's three quarts of meat, I'm going to put three tablespoons of the beef bouillon. And I just get this at Walmart. Wall fart. Okay, two. And I'm going to give a little stir, Okay. Give a little stir. Maybe put a little bit more on there. Okay. Now that's how I have to season the meat right there, really. But we're going to go all out because that pork has no real flavor, man. I mean, you know what I mean? It's really bland. So I'm going to go ahead and put a generous amount of pepper in there, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of this ground. Cayenne in there. Just a smidge. This is how I cook too. <laughs> I don't really measure a whole lot. I'll do like a bounce and stuff. So, anyway. Sorry about that. Okay. I have some onion powder and some garlic powder here. Okay. And really, I don't like using store bought for this. But I haven't dehydrated my onions yet and made my own. And my garlic was really kind of freezer burnt because that's where I stored it. And I just tossed it. I just tossed it. I got some more from the store that I would do. But I think it would be just like the store bought. It's fine. Use what you got. You just want to season the meat up very well. I would say that was about a tablespoon. And that was garlic powder and this is onion powder. About a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. All right, stir, stir again. And I am gonna make a beef bouillon to can this in. 
because I don't just use water, so I'm not going to add any more of the beef bouillon in here at this point. I'll just make my broth, my bouillon broth, and then the bouillon broth and a little bit I put in here will season that meat right on up when it's cooking. I'm going to put a little bit of oregano leaves in there just because I like a little bit of green. It makes me happy. And some more stirring. <laughs> and some more browning. All right. I'm going to make my broth now. My uh, meat mixture is done. It's hot, y'all. It's like 100 degrees outside. And I'm canning. I have a canner for outside. A propane thing. But I don't want to use it today because I don't want to use my propane up. Okay, so that's one quart. No, that's one quart, two quarts. I'm gonna go ahead and do four quarts of water first. I think four quarts. Two, three. That's, I think three. <laughs> I lost count. Oops. It don't matter much. <laughs> Just make your broth real tasty. Okay, so four or five words. I'm going to turn that to bowl. I'm going to get about four tablespoons of this. It does have salt in it, so I'm not worried about my salt content. You don't really want it too salty. One, two, three, four. I'll go ahead and do five. Stir that around. That looks pretty good. Now, I do a little Worcestershire sour sauce. It just deepens the meat flavor. Okay. All right. Where am I going to go? Stir, stir that real good. Now, I'm going to let that go on and come to a bowl. Okay, fantastic. All right, your water does not have to be hot here. You know, you just want it to be dissolved. Fantastic. Cut off. I like wide mouth jars for stuff like this. Fill her up. I'll go ahead and fill her up. Buttercup. Okay. Now this looks like it's going to make three. I think I was correct. Maybe two and a half. I may have to wait till my second batch comes to fill my third jar up. I don't know. We're going to see. So we're just going to rob a little bit from these. It's not going to hurt. Actually, no, we're not. <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Um, I want them all the way full. I guess we're going to have to do another batch of warming up meat to get this third one ready. That's fine. Okay, so 
I, mean, I like to use a little pot for this now. Because that way you don't have to make so many dips. You want to go slow pouring. Because it's, it's pretty full of meat. So let me get you over here. Okay. You want to go slow pouring your meat. ready for a video today y'all sorry I'm not I'm just I'm exhausted so it's not going to take that much liquid really because all of that meat that's fine that doesn't have to take a lot honey but you do want to bubble your jars gets the air through there and gets liquid down so you may have to adjust your liquid in there okay all right so these are ready and until I get the other ones warmed up I'll probably stick them here next to my other cannon I did the other day and put a towel over them. <clears throat> I like to use this one a lot. It's a good for one. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my other meat. I'll show you what I got. Brimming full, this was 20 pounds. So, let's break some off. Cause this was in the Brosting pan. We'll just put it in here and start again with warming it up, browning it up, and seasoning it up. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the flavoring in here before it starts cooking or warming up. That way, I don't know. It's just one less step. So. That'd be fine. I use a lot of seasonings <laughs> when I cook, when I when I'm canning. So a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Just like I did earlier. As you're gonna work in batches here. I figured it up. I should have at least eight quarts of prepared meat. And I did do pork and hamburger meat just to make my hamburger stretch. And to use up some of that pork that we got. So this is probably another quart. That's probably four and a half. That's probably one and a half. So, yeah. It'll be great. I started putting labels on my products I did the other day and one of the lids popped off. I guess it had come and sealed and um, I'll show you what lid it was. One of these generic ones. All right. You got to be careful with your lids. I mean, so. all right, I've got my jars ready. I have about a third of a pan of water. I just turned it on high. Okay. These are warm. They're not hot. Let's go load them up. I got eight quarts out of that, which is what I thought I would get, which is fantastic because I cooked some of it last night and I got a little bit more left in the pan. So I think it would have made nine. So my water bath scanner holds seven. Honestly, I don't like that much water in my thing. Because I, I guess I like to, um, what's it called? Open kettle. 
So I'm gonna get a little bit of it out. I find that if my water is too high for my jars, that I have a lot of siphoning. I also find that if my heat is too high in my canner, I have a lot of siphoning. I also find that if my fluid, my fluid levels and my product level aren't even in the jars, which I don't know if it makes any sense or not, I get some siphoning. So, what I'll probably do here is just can these seven and keep this eight out and cook it this evening. And we'll have something great, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on high. And as soon as it starts boiling, pretty good bull, I'm gonna hit it for three hours. So here is my canned up product. I got it saying HB slash PK hamburger pork. The date on it. And it came out fantabulous. It did siphon a bit. <gasps> no. Are you kidding me? Did you see what just happened? Mm, that's a travesty. Now I gotta check all those lids. Do not tell me I just wasted 20 pounds of meat. I've never in my entire career of canning lost this much at one time. Out of those eight jars, seven of them. Seven. <laughs> never, never have I ever, ever done this. This is the biggest loss I've ever taken in my whole canning history. I opened that closet and I could smell something today. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to go through all these jars and see what happened. Out of the seven jars, I lost six. Because I remember I cooked one that night. I don't even want to tell you. I'm doing a video right now. You don't even want to know what happened. What happened? Yeah, the meat sealed. Six failed. Wow. I've never had this much of a, of a seal failure in my whole life. Were they them Chinese lids on No, one? No, they were ball. So, come outside to sit on my little sitting perch. For a minute. Um, I've been canning pretty regularly for four years now. Pardon me. <laughs> um, <sighs> that was expensive. Very expensive. That was <clears throat> about $40 worth of hamburger meat. And the pork is, you can't put a price on that. We had that pig for three years. She weighed 700 pounds. Each pound of that hamburger meat processed feed cost 85 cents. But it's insurmountable, the amount of money we spent on her. And so, that was the most costly canning failure I've had this far. I did everything right. You saw me, I, did, I mean, I did everything right. I wiped the jars off. I. I I had a lot of siphoning and uh, my take on that is that the siphoning from the pork being in the hamburger meat made the lids so greasy from the grease that it still contained um, that siphoning in this case was very detrimental. So I know seven, uh, six of my seven jars siphoned. The eight, seventh jar, I'm going to cook it up right now because the lid had sealed, but I'm afraid to leave it in the pantry for any amount of time since all the others failed. The meat smelled fine in the seventh jar. It was still sealed. It popped off. You know, honestly, this kind of a failure, this kind of a hurt would have sent me drinking. Sent me to the store for a beer real quick. <laughs> I've um, been sober for a little bit now, and uh, today has been a very hard day. Uh, my job, I went to go do some jobs, and the jobs I went to do, they were already done, 
so I didn't get the time for that. I, I didn't even get the miles for it, really, because they're cutting me short of my miles right now. Uh, <laughs> then come home to that. It was a hard day. Uh, but what we can take from this is, even if you had a hard day, you don't have to let it get to you. Even if you do have substance abuse <clears throat> in your history, you don't have to go pick up a drink. You don't have to go pick up a drug. You don't have to go do the um, behaviors that you do or had done before when something went wrong, no matter what it is. And we all know we have those vices that aren't so good for us. So I hope that this failure um, you can learn a little bit from me and how to handle it positively. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to cook the rest of that. <clears throat> I'm going to, oh, I'm going to cook that quart of meat and I'm just going to chalk it up as a loss and to experience and hopefully next time I can do something a little different and uh, hopefully that never happens again. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God so upset right now it's gonna be okay all right y'all i love you little sweeties have a good night bye